Hello and welcome to day 120 of the 1000 days of no code challenge. WhatsApp is the most widely used messaging platform across the globe. And if you are running a business or a community, sending timely automated messages can save you hours of manual efforts. Today, we will use AI Sensei, a WhatsApp API business tool to understand how can we create WhatsApp based automation. By the end of this video, you will understand how can you send WhatsApp messages automatically based on your need. Let's get started. So we're going to make a WhatsApp automation using AI SNC platform. AI SNC is a platform which allows you to integrate WhatsApp and send WhatsApp messages using templates. So I'm going to use make for this. You can use public connect or uh, Zapier also for the same thing. I'm going to create a new scenario. And now what we are actually interested in is not the trigger because trigger could be a form filling trigger could be coming from anywhere right what we are mainly interested in is the action which is the second step okay so this i'll make it as webhook i'll use a uh, custom webhook okay i'll just ignore this we'll go to the next step which is basically API call that we're going to do. Okay, and for that, we have to use this HTTP, right? And uh, we use something called make a request. Okay, now we've got all of this uh, to be filled out. Before we fill out, let's go to AI Sensei to understand what this platform is and how do we use it. So, going to AI Sensei. Now, the team will help you connect your number to AI Sensei and then it will get linked to WhatsApp and you will be able to make WhatsApp automation, right? Like you see, we have got this ABCD by red seven and uh, this particular number is linked. Now, the first thing that we have to do is go to manage and uh, create a template. We've already done this and I'm going to show you that this particular template is created for sending event reminders on WhatsApp. When I click on this particular template, you can see how the template look like. Hey, Mingna, your session is going to start very soon. Topic, it should have been bubble basics. Date, 12.02.2025, time is 5 p.m. IST joining link the link over here don't forget set a reminder and join us on time to make the most of the session see you soon regards team abcd and a button to join right so this is the template that we have created and uh, ai sensei team will help you to create the template and understand how to create and stuff like that whatsapp or facebook will actually approve this particular template okay each time you create a template or uh, change it you have to get approval from WhatsApp, which happens within seconds, right? Once a template is created, you have to go to campaigns and create a campaign over here. So this is the campaign that we have created for uh, ABCD event reminder. Okay. And uh, I'll click on this one. We can see how many messages we have sent and all of that details can be seen over here. Now coming back to the automation part, click on this test campaign and you get the API keys, campaign name, destination, uh, the username, template parameters, and all of this, right? So we have already used this in uh, Bubble. So I'm going to take that as an example and show you how this entire thing works. So the API call needs to be a post. Okay, so I'm going to copy this particular URL. Let's go back to our integration. And so the URL is this one. And as we saw, it needs to be a post method. Okay, let's come back to bubble. We have got one header. So I'm going to copy this, come back, add a header. Uh, the name is content type and the value is application slash JSON. So we will use that, right? And the body type is JSON and this is all the body values, right? So I'm going to copy this entire thing. Let's go back and body type, we will select as raw. Content type will be JSON request content entire thing needs to be pasted over here right along with the API key whom are we sending username okay first sentence topic date time meeting link and all of this okay as we saw in our template so this is template we have to fill in this uh, parameters so I'll show you how that needs to be done so we have copied the JSON value here now the phone number needs to go over here right uh, right now I'm putting a static value, but if it comes from step one or whatever steps before this, you can put that detail here. So nine one, this needs to be along with country code. Zero one double nine. Name, I'll use, let's say Vatesh. Okay, the same thing needs to go over here as well. First sentence will go here. So I'll leave it as first sentence. Topic will go over here. So I give it as is. 
date needs to go over here. Right now I'm putting everything as static, but uh, you can use dynamic values, right? So everything else remains as is, and then we will go and click on save. Now, because we have not done the entire automation, I'm just going to run this particular thing, which is run this module only. And you can see that it has actually run, right? I'll show you the message on WhatsApp. You can see that I just got this. Here it is, first sentence. Topic is topic, date is date, time is time, join, link is meeting link. Don't forget, set a reminder and join us on time. Make the most of the session. See you soon. Regards, join. So this is how you can do WhatsApp automation. Use the dynamic values and WhatsApp automation is all set. This can also be linked to your form so that as soon as the form is filled in, the WhatsApp message goes to the user based on the number that they have filled. And just like that, you have unlocked the power of WhatsApp automation. Now, whether you're sending order confirmation, appointment reminders, or promotional messages, AISNC makes it seamless and automated. Want to see how others are using WhatsApp to scale their business? Join our no-code community, where we share automation strategies, real-world use cases, and help each other build better systems. Tomorrow is the grand finale of the no-code automation series. We'll build a cross-platform automation that connects Public Connect and Zapier. Click the link below to join our no-code community and let's keep automating together. See you there.